If you want coins in FIFA 17, you gotta trade. Trade, baby, trade. 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 trade baby, trade. Trade, 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 trade. What's up, guys? I've got some trading tips for you here today. FIFA 17 is out. Uh, everyone's on the market, you know, trying to put their new team together, their starting squad. And I've got a way for you to make a couple thousand or even thousands of coins by following this trading method. Now, I want to say right off the bat, as a disclaimer, do not message me and tell me that you made an investment that fucking went sour, okay? This method does have some risk. Mind you, it's going to have very low risk. We're going to start off with very minimal risk. I'm talking about a few thousand coins at most. Not to mention the players you're going to be trading are going to be players that if you get stuck with, it didn't cost you a lot or it's a player that you might like. I mean, I'm not saying every bad trade is going to end up positive for you. But what I'm saying is, is we're not dealing with a lot of money. And that's what the thing is. I mean, that's, that's the crux of this entire trading. Hey, hey, you can't take me seriously? Why don't you take me seriously? Why don't you take me seriously? The method works, I swear. This method definitely works. I want you guys to try it. Let me know in the comment section if you guys have done any trading, and if so, how much money have you made? What players are you using to trade, and which ones work best for you? I've got my own list. You guys are going to see in a moment my players that I like to use for trading. So, before we jump into the video, if you guys like this kind of content, drop a thumbs up, show me some support, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's do this. Okay, guys, so here is the list of players we're going to be going over. There's five. Ogbonna, Danny Ings, Wellback, Cabisel, and there'll be another one that we'll probably do, um, I'm going to mention at least, is Henderson. I don't have him on the list there, but Henderson's also a good player. And basically, the players that you want to go for are players that play for popular leagues. We are doing the BPL, which BPL is by far the most popular league to build teams with right now. And what you're going to want to do is invest... I'm not going to say, don't invest all your money. You know, if you have only 5,000 coins, this Emirates uh investment that I'm doing now probably won't work for you. But what you want to do is make sure you calculate the, the tax. That's what's key here, okay? Because what you could do is you could make a couple hundred coins, maybe even 1,000 coins, depending on how good of a deal you get, by being very vigilant on the market, okay? I'm going to give you... A bunch of like I'm gonna give you a bunch of numbers of uh, percentages giving you an example of what I'm doing here as you see I already sold an Ogbonna and a Cabisel there on the market and I'm I have a Chan up right now in the Chan that I bought I bought for 40 4400 coins now I'm gonna quick I'm gonna put them up for a buy now for 49 and if I bought them for 44 I'm going to make 255 coins because after tax, which is 45 coins, it comes down to 4,655 coins I make. So that means I make a nice little chunk of change, 255 coins. I know that's not a lot, but over time, once you do this over and over again, as you see, there's what you do. You go, you find the lowest price. After you do this once, once, once you do this a couple times, it starts to really make you really start to make some money. Now I've got Danny Ings here. You know, Danny Ings sells for about one thousand two hundred coins. So I'm looking for something around one thousand coins because if you sell Danny Ings for one thousand two hundred and you buy him for one thousand at least, you make a hundred and forty coin. Again, it's not a lot, but over time, you will make some money. And it just takes a while, and that's why this is kind of a grind, but it's a way to make coins. Now, you could also bid on a player, too. Search and find a low bid. Now, right here, I find a couple that are 900, 950. I'm going to bid 950. Another good example. If I sell him for 9... If I buy him for 950, and I sell him for 1,200, that is about a 200 coin profit. It's actually like 190, I think. But still, 190 coins for just buying somebody and selling them instantly. And that's the thing, guys. These cards, as long as you're watching, and that's very important. You know, when I first looked at this, if you open this up and you see, okay, there's Danny Ings, 1,200. Check it out for a while, okay? 
Don't just buy it right now. Like, if I opened up Danny Ings and I saw that there's four Danny Ings for 1,200, I can't trust that that's what they're going for right now instantly because within the next, you know, few minutes, they could be flooded with a bunch of them selling for 1,200. And then it starts to get cut, 1,100. Then they're going for 1,000. So then you've lost. So the key is to make sure you watch a bid. Watch watch what a card is going for. As you saw there, I'm, I am just won for 1,000 coins. I won the Danny Inks for 1,000. Now I check to see, are they still going for that much? Yes, they're still going for 1,200. So then I go and list up mine for 1,200. And I'm going to make 140 coins off this profit. Okay, so here we go. I just bought it. Okay, so here's the Danny Ings. I won for 1,000 coins. Now, I'm going to list him for 1,200 coins, which will make me 140 coins. Okay? Just like that. Now, watch how quickly this card sells. By the time we get through anything else here, he'll be sold in just a few moments. Because I know, I've watched the list. They sell for 1,200. So we're going to list them up. And we're going to put them up for 1,200 after we paid 1,000. Just like all these other guys, you know, it's it's a slow grind. A couple, th a couple thousand coins at a time. Now watch how fast this sells. Within seconds. Just like that. That's how quickly these cards sell sometimes. Especially if you've watched them long enough and you know exactly how quickly they sell. Perfect example. He's a very popular card right now. Everyone wants to try him. A lot of packs are being opened and that's really important too packs are being opened right now everyone's opening packs just like all these other cards here we've got chan that sold 4900 i paid 4400 for him so that made me 255 coins and that's awesome guys now another way i was going to bring up making coins now that the squad building challenges are out now there's two teams, or there's two leagues right now that people are buying players for. And that is, one, Major League Soccer, and two, the Portuguese League. Now, the same thing goes with these players, too. You want to make sure you buy them very low. You don't want to be taking huge risks, you know, spending a lot of money on these players. Make sure you watch them, see how many there are in the market. The thing is, some of these teams, the MLS teams and Portuguese League teams, some of them don't have a lot of players at certain positions so you might be able to get away with that there might be not a lot of center backs for certain teams there might not be a lot of right wingers for certain teams so you got to make sure you look at the formations for each squad build challenge and try to buy the players that people will be looking for make sure you do the same trading method buy as you know as low as you can try to make some some investments and try to you know make a couple thousand maybe a couple hundred here and there Make sure you also keep an eye out because throughout the year, this is going to be very relevant that there's going to be different squad building challenges for different leagues and you're going to want to keep an eye out and be one of the first people to buy those players to sell, okay? So all of a sudden, if, you know, a, a Bundesliga league comes out, you want to be the first to have some of these players and be able to flip them very quickly. So this is another great method. Make sure you guys try this one too. I haven't did it as, I haven't tried it that much, but I definitely plan on trying this method a little bit more. Okay guys, so get out there, make some investments, make some of that money. Make sure you guys stick around for the other things I'm going to be posting very soon. I'm going to post the journey, a career mode, and a road to glory, not to mention some pack openings and some squad builds. If you guys have anything you want to see me do on my channel, make sure you guys leave a suggestion in a comment. I'd love to know what you guys would like to see. And as always guys, thanks for freaking watching.